Hey, I gotta eat too, you know what I'm saying? I gotta eat. Don't act like you don't eat. You know, I get hungry too sometimes, you know? It's kind of rude to sit there and eat in front of people. So you want some chicken? I already put some hot sauce on there, but you want a piece of chicken? You want a piece of chicken? What's going on? It's Javan Johnson here. You're watching episode number 57 of About 10 Minutes. And I got my meal in, got my nourishment. You know what I'm saying? So, so has anybody been watching the NBA playoffs? I've been catching some of the action, and it's definitely been some exciting games going on and whatnot. In San Antonio, they already got their spot in the finals. Uh, Indiana and Miami, they, they have some unfinished business at the current time. But um, the playoffs have been very, very um, exciting. I mean, I, I was really enjoying watching Golden State play. You know, uh, they up and coming. Watch out for them in the up and coming years. You know, if they just continue to, to make the right personnel moves. Uh, they definitely, they got a good solid coach in Mark Jackson, and they got some, they got some good solid players. But there was a lot of other exciting games, and uh, me personally, for those who uh, have followed the show, you may know that I'm a Piston fan. I'm a Detroit Piston fan, so obviously they weren't in the playoffs, but um, some of the former Pistons from that 2004 championship team were in there. So, so when your team is in the playoffs, sometimes you can like at least um, you know root for the guys that you used to root for when they played for your team. In my blog entry this past Tuesday, I was talking about scoffers and basically not allowing scoffers to distract you. And so it's important, you know, that we as Christians, that we don't allow, you know, people to get us worked up or riled up or acting out of character. It's important for us to, to continue to move forward and do what God has called us to do. But we still speak the truth, but not to sit there and feel like we have to respond to every single person that has something to say. You know, be led by the Holy Spirit, obviously. You know, if there's something that needs to be addressed or a certain person that is, like, seriously seeking uh, answers, that's one thing, but don't just sit there and feel like you got to get in, get in battles with every single person, you know, like whether it's on your, on, on the internet or wherever you at, don't feel like you have to be in battles with every single person. So it's important, you know, not to allow scoffers to distract you. And then also kind of today on today's episode, I really want to deal with anger in general and not allowing anger, you know, to, to, to cause you to sin. You know, the Bible talks about be angry, but sin not. And it's very important we don't allow anger to cause us to do things that, that, that we will regret later on. Because you can look at it, you know, anger can do anger can do a lot of damage to people's lives. I mean, depending on how far they take it, I mean, it can cause a lot of problems. And so it's important that we keep our emotions in check, that we keep our composure. Uh, be careful what we say when we're angry. You know, be careful how we respond to people when we're angry. Because we should respond to people in love. Because one thing I, I would say is this, like, so, sometimes it can take a long time to build a friendship or to build a relationship, but it can take like 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, you know, to destroy it. I mean, somebody, sometimes somebody can say something to one person that really hurts them, and it can just really, it can really continue to linger on. And so it's so important for us to be careful of what we say and to make sure that we respond in love. And everything that we do, you know, that we respond in love. And if, and if we do something that was wrong, to repent of it, you know, and, and ask a person for forgiveness. Now, obviously, we cannot force another person to forgive us. But it's important that, you know, if somebody offends us, that, you know, that we forgive them, you know. And so it is something to, to be mindful of and to really look at, okay, if, if we have certain things that trigger us, you know, that trigger us, that, that get us angry, to really look at that. You know, and to examine, okay, this is what I need to do um, to avoid having this happen. It's very important that, we, that we're careful of what we say, you know, what the words that we release, what type of things we're speaking to people, because, I mean, it can really impact them. And as Christians, obviously, we want to be a good witness. We want to make sure that we represent God in the best way. I mean, it's like, you know, they talk about, like, you know, don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry, because obviously when you're hungry, you know, you can just go and see stuff and start buying stuff up. You know, it's easy to kind of think with your stomach to kind of go based on how you're feeling at that time. And, like, you know, when you're angry, you know, sometimes, like, when you feel at the time, when you feel like somebody may have did something that's wrong, I mean, you could really let some things out. You can really say some things, you know, that could be hurtful. Also, to really look at, you know, to, to really look at, at the deeper issue is, like, okay, what's going on in the inside of me that would cause me to respond this way? You know, now, obviously, I mean, we're human and we have, we all have different things. I mean, to some things, for each person, it could vary from person to person. For instance, one person may have something that sets them off that, like, ten other people wouldn't even bother them. You know, it wouldn't even be anything to them. And so, um, you know, but, I mean, it's important that we look at ourselves and say, okay, what is it on the inside of me that I'm dealing with? And then take it before the Lord. You know, take it before the Lord in prayer. Spend some time praying about it. Spend some time in the Word. 
you know, I mean, and really working on those things, really working to improve ourselves. It's not to sit here and say that we're perfect, but really to look at, okay, why am I responding this way? You know, is, is it a certain issue, you know, um, an unresolved issue fr from somebody else? Somebody did this to me, and so this is why I'm upset. Like, like being angry and losing our composure um, can, can really lead to some issues. I mean, it's like some people off of one decision they made, maybe just off of one night, got upset, did something that changed the whole course of their life. And sometimes on varying levels. I mean, sometimes I mean it could just lead to them like losing a scholarship or something like that. It can lead to it can lead to a lot of different things. And so it's it's important that we make the right decisions, you know. And we and then we seek God, you know, for wisdom on how to respond to things. And then we just you know we stay focused on what He's called us to do. So as we go about our lives each and every day, let us make sure that we respond in love. Let us remember Jesus Christ and the example that He provides for us, and continue to represent Jesus Christ in our day to day lives. I want to thank you for watching episode number 57 of About 10 Minutes. You have a blessed week.